All right, g'day there. Richard Musgrave Evans here again, and welcome back. Now today, I'm gonna to do something a little different. I'm gonna leave the car, I'm gonna leave the trailer, and we'll go on a bit of a bushwalk. I found this fantastic little spot to paint, nice little posse, and I think you'll all love it. All right. Alright, g'day there, Richard Musgrave Evans here again and welcome back. Today, let's just see if that's on first, we want to make sure she's on, yep she's on, good. Alright, g'day there, Richard Musgrave Evans here again and welcome back. Now today, out in country Australia again, got a fantastic damn look at this for a subject, this is the bee's knees. Right going to be working exclusively with large palette knives today and on canvas. Oil paint, serenity. All right, let's get started. What do we do first? Well, I've put a couple of darks in, but I'll stick the rest in while you're watching. And then after we've done that, establish the darkest tones, we will then go for the biggest differences between having a white canvas and the subject itself. Okay, let's do this. All right, now I've placed this bank fairly high in the picture. I don't want it to cut it off in the centre too much, so I've stuck her up pretty high. And uh, now I'll put some more darks in. All right, just lay that one down there. Okay, it's predominantly, predominantly, sorry, dark water. It's very dark. It's like a tea stain. It's it's a beautiful colour, okay, so we'll get into it. Nice dark tones, let's do it. Now I've got to make sure I'm out of the way so you can see what I'm mixing. That's always the fun part. Okay, uh, dark tones. A bit more blue and magenta, darken her off. A bit more blue than that. She's quite a dark tone today, like I was saying. That's extremely dark, right. Now trying to stand out of the way, normally if I was working I'd probably be standing right here, but that's not going to happen today is it, so I'll get over here. Magenta, cobalt blue, yeah let's put all those in beautifully. Palette knife is good for just blocking quickly like this. Nice dark tones all going in quickly and you've got the option of making it thick or thin. At the moment I've got it fairly thin I would say, it's not too thick. But it's straight paint, there's no medium in that paint. Alright, magenta and blue. Keep putting it in and trying to keep out of the way as we do it. I can see some beautiful dark tones over here. See the water? In the tea stained water you've got the colour of the sky reflecting but it's a real key down deep tone. So that'll be... Oh, I can hear a frog in there too. That's pretty cool. More of the blues. Blue 
Blues and magentas over there where that <laughs> reflection is. Just going for very deep colours like I was saying. That looks good, right? Might introduce a little bit of yellow ochre now and burnt sienna and viridian green. Make a bit of the foliage colour that's also reflecting in there. This painting is uh, looks like it's about to fall off, but I think it'll be okay. Just added a little bit of white to the scene to lighten up a few tones in the water. I can see a few lighter tones, so there's a bit more whites going in. Just in this area, what have we got here? Hang on. That's magenta and blue in a much lighter tone. Just get it in for now, we'll work out what we're doing later. Alright, keep working on those darks, it's very dark in here so I'll add a bit of uh, viridian green to the red mix which darkens her up. Pretty hard to stand over there, but as I said, I'll have to do it, so there we go. Stop complaining and just do it. Put that tree in. With a knife on the edge. Got my knife on the edge, there you go, look at that. All right. A bit more burnt sienna, they all vary in colour and tone. There's a bit more reflected light in some of these branches. There's a lot of yellow ochre. Those little trunks in the middle there, there's a lot of yellow ochre and burnt sienna bouncing off from the ground, so we'll make that a much lighter tone in that area. We're just generally putting the whole dark in where the where those trunks are going to go. Just getting a generalised background there. Spectrum blue, uh, cobalt blue, magenta, dark tones. Just going to knock in some of these shadows from the trees running down the side here. They're much cooler colours, they're more of the blues and whatever. This side here where the light's reflecting up, there's more of the orangey ochres. And the shadows on the ground will have, are reflecting the sky, so they've got more of the blue. And I guess these ones are reflecting, like I said earlier, the ground, so they've got more of the orange. Oh, what fun. Oh, what fun. I'll just lighten that a little bit. Lighten those tones over here. Just get a general feeling. I'm, like I said before, I'm working with the undertones first, the darkest tones, and then you can get stuck into the lighter stuff on top. Might just put a little bit of... Lighten that, a bit more white with the blue. There you go, look at that. Colouring around the sides here. Alright, now some of that foliage colour is a bit more of a viridian green and yellow ochre. Just a 
getting some of that in. Like I said, these are the dark tones going in. A bit more key down there, so it's got to feel the blues and whatever in it because it's further away. So at the moment it's all fairly dark, but we will lighten up. Okay, what do we got? It's a beautiful day for it all today, I tell you what. Beautiful day. Okay, what have we got? Chung chung, chung chung. What I might do is just thin those shadows a little bit so when I put the overpainting on they don't uh, you know, dominate too much. It is fairly thin I guess you could say. Right. Might actually make a bit of space because I'm working with a much, because I'm working outdoors, I haven't got my truck here today, I've walked in. I've got the portable easel. I've got a much smaller pallet than I normally use, which is a bit of a bugger because I love using the big pallet with the big knives, but that doesn't matter. What I'll do is just clean up an area and then I'll have somewhere to work my lights and I'll just leave a bit of those dark tones there if I need them. Bit of a bin run. Now I'll just stand back a minute and have a look, eh? Alright, yes, the darks are in. Now I get the balance of these lights. Okay. Lighter tones. The yellow ochre with a little bit of burnt sienna. Plenty of white as well to lighten her off. working out where it's all going, hang on. Yeah, no. Nah. Alright, I realised I just need a few more darks in here, which I'll put in. Because I want to put the light tones over the top of that, so... A few more darks, right? Now I can go for these light tones. A bit of draftsmanship there. Seeing a few of these light tones in. Yellow ochre, I've got a, just a touch of Viridian green in there as well now over this area because it's a little bit greener the grass over there. I'll just put that in there. A bit more white with the burnt sienna. Yellow ochre. all those tones in like so. Now some pale greens in the background. There's always plenty of subtleties going on. Just a little bit greener in here and lighter in tone. And just put them in with little marks for now. Stand back and have a look, eh? Bin run. Okay, now, just gonna mix up a nice light earthy color, which is uh, cobalt blue and magenta. Plenty of white in the mix and a bit of burnt sienna. That's some sort of earthy tone that's getting mixed up. Here's a bit more blue. a light neutral colour, mix up a really light earthy grassy tone with yellow ochre and white. Plenty of white and yellow ochre in the mix. Just build those Colors in. 
the edge of the bank here, where's that? That's there. Right. Those magpies sound fantastic. Native Australian birds, the magpie. I'm sure you can hear those magpies in the backdrop. Fantastic stuff, right. Paddocks are a bit lighter over here. And greener, there's been a little bit of rain, which has been great. Keeping those bushfires at bay. So, just doing a bit of colouring in there. A lot of tones. Let's have a look, eh? Getting there, getting there. Bit of magenta and blue. Bit of green with it. Working with a knife on the edge to create interest and drama and variety and brush marks. Well, pellet knife marks. Alright, now. Okay. It's all very broad and blocked in. <clears throat> but there's a lot of similarities, so. Now what I'll do is. I might just pull through a bit to soften a bit here and there. And increase draftsmanship. Yeah, I'll pull that across to there. Before I go any further. I can see some of those trunks in the backdrop. A bit of that beautiful magenta brown colour. So I'll just add a little bit more of those tones in there. Mix up some foliage, burnt sienna, yellow ochre. Pretty and green. We have way too much burnt sienna in the mix. So, pretty and green and yellow ochre it is. Just adjusting as I go. There's plenty of paint on there now, so. This one in the bin. I'll stand back and have a look and then I'll get into it with the sliding technique. Right. Right, 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 right. What do we got out? Let's pull that that way. pull through. So I'm wiping the knife clean and just pulling and trying to pull all that backdrop out of focus. Varying the angles as I go. Cutting some paint off there to reveal the hopefully some shadow underneath. Varying the angles. Proving the draftsmanship all the time. Colouring with the finger around the edges. <laughs> it's crazy stuff. Alright, let's have a look.
Just taking a bit of paint off there. Just do a quick bin run again and uh, grab another bit of paper towel. There we go. Softening there. Doing some dragging marks here and there to soften. Now there's going to be a distinct edge where the water meets the land. Good, now a bit of a bin run. Okay, now what I'm going to do is get a bit of cobalt blue and a bit of white to lighten that watercolour a bit, not much. It's a fairly deep tone in there, so don't want to make it too light. bit more magenta and blue and less of the white. Get those beautiful deep tones that you get intermixed. So deep and beautiful down in here. Well, that's all fun and games right now. Just because I'm nice on the edge. Pulling out a few more of those uh, variable, variable marks. Drawing shadows in where they are belong, where it looks like they need to go. Making it up as you go, making a beautiful composition with the general vibe of what's going on around you. That's how it all works. Yellow ochre, burnt sienna and white. Good moisture stuff just in there. Alright, now that's all good fun. But unfortunately, oh, I might have to put this little knife down, I'm sorry, put this big knife down and go for something a little bit more respectable in size. Right, where are we? If I can find it on the ground, otherwise I won't. Oh, here we go. A little bit smaller. Good, all right. Okay, let's get some draftsmanship. Let's work out what we're doing here. Let's Sienna. All right, let's start here, I reckon. 
with a knife on the edge. Dull dark tones here. More of a blue actually, it's got more of a blue in it. Just picking out that beautiful, beautiful trunk there. A bit more yellow oak under this underside here where it's reflecting the light. Catching the light under there, so we put that under. Like so. This is just, this is what I call fun. <laughs> oh, it's fun, fun, fun. Right. Another one here, let's pick that one out. It's a bit straighter. They all very remember. No two are doing this quite the same thing, if they are. Well, that'll be boring, so we'll change that and make it different. A bit more of these colours, all sorts of colours thrown in. Alright, let's see what we've got there, eh? Okay, now that's, that's coming along. What I might do now is introduce... Because I'm... a bit of a breeze. Because I'm working... Hopefully this mic's going well. What have we got here? Tuck that away in there so the breeze can't get it. Okay. Now... We started off with the darkest tones, we've slowly gotten into the middle tones and slightly lighter tones. Now I might go for even lighter tones. Where the light's really catching, so white, bit of cad yellow deep, half mix it. You know I like to half mix my colours, seems to give more sting, more power. Knife on the edge again. Again, we're varying the marks, not making them all the same. Let's just uh, break them up a bit here and there and add and take away and whatever. Drag the knife this way. Yep, looking all right, looking all right. This is just fun, I love being out here doing this. Got a bit of light on the side of that one. And why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to be out here doing this? It's better stuck at home than inside a stuffy old studio. Still working with that knife on the edge. Okay. Just grab a bit more of this. Pull down a bit like that to wobble that little uh, thing. The water just has a slight shimmer on it. So getting the knife and just going tick, 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 tick. sort of gives that feel as you're pulling down. Tick, 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 tick. Gives that feel. At least I hope it does anyway.
Where are we here? What do we got? Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Just putting all these uh, reflections of these trees, they're all here, might as well stick them all in. Just get that knife on the edge and do some fantastic clean draftsmanship to contrast the out of focusness. Everything in the background's out of focus, so if we can put some in focus on top, it'll be really contrasting. And a good painting always has good contrast. Just getting rid of some of those whites there. And this light tone. Just adding a bit of that reflection, there was, as you can see, that tree that's looping over in the picture. Fantastic little shimmering reflection underneath. Clean that. Bit of a highlight there in the water, might as well bring it out. This is great, this is great. Right, here we go. Where are you? Lighter than that, a bit more white. Just a few dead sticks out in the paddock there. And obviously some in here too. Really gives the illusion of high detail when you start putting those refining bits in. Those frogs sound fantastic. Love listening to nature. Just love it. You just got a bit of a few cad colours and highlights here. Gonna overdo it, of course. Having a look at. Eh? 
picking out a couple of highlights while those frogs celebrate life. Just adding those little bits of detail. Like I said, I don't want to get too carried away with that, but at the same time, I want to put, you know, have some in. more white in that magenta mix just clean it up a bit right I'll get some magenta cobalt blue white make a much cleaner version of it Nice and clean there, going for a bigger accent now. More power. Just trying to pull a bit more power. What, what we've got is, we've got the subject, we've got the big impression. Now, just trying to get a little bit more sting into the focal areas. Good variety. Color variety. All right, well that'll about do it. That was a bit of fun. Beautiful day to be out here doing that sort of thing and uh, I feel like I've captured what I was trying to do. Okay, well, there you go. Now, if you like this style of video and you haven't already, remember to go ahead, subscribe, press that notification bell and also share the video as much as you can. Spread the good word in general. Till next time, I'll see you later. Thanks.